SMT Nation, what is going on? It's your boy, the SMT. We're going to be talking about FirstNet today, and I'm going to explain how to get 5G on your FirstNet by AT&T plan and how to activate it, get it going on your phone. All right, so before I do that, please do subscribe for me. Turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload, and that makes sure that you get back here for all the uploads that go live here on the SMT. All right, if you are qualified and you are uh, a FirstNet customer, there is a way for you to get 5G turned on. There's a dedicated plan. When you go into login, get into your credentials, and you access your account, there is a specific plan that indicates that you can have 5G access. Make sure that you have switched your old plan to that new one. I don't see an additional charge for it. You just have to choose that selection. So go ahead and do that first on the first net side in your account. Once you do that, now it's time to, uh, now it's your opportunity to go ahead and make sure that your phone has all the settings for it. All right, so I'm showing you guys how to do this on an iPhone. That's what I'm using. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your phone is upgraded to the newest software. All right, so when you update your software, you want to get to iOS 15. So if your phone is outdated and you have not got the newest software, go ahead and do that. It puts you on iOS 15. Now you're golden. The next thing you want to do is you're going to want to update your carrier settings. All right, so if there's any type of carrier modifications and yours is outdated, you'll update it at that moment in time, and then you'll get to this uh, first net 47.1. That's what mine is at, and that's how I was able to get it to successfully work by updating that software. And then once you do that, it may possibly require a restart at any point during this process. You can go into your cellular settings and you can actually select for 5G. And this is where you can turn it on. You can put on auto and then you can always put it back on LT at any time. Simple as that. Now you got 5G access. In my case, I've got DSS 5G. Now I've got access to the 5G plus the millimeter wave. I'm going to go ahead and test that out this weekend downtown. I'll be running my iPhone 12 Pro for now until I upgrade to the 13. I'll probably be doing that in short order as well. Anyways, if you have any questions on this, go ahead and ask down in the comments section. I'm sure some of the SMT Nation members have done this and they can kind of answer some of those questions or maybe I can answer some questions to help you out with it. But thanks for watching. Uh, questions and comments down below and hopefully we see you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.